No one would ever thought we would be 5-0 and at this point. Fresh off a 19-point win between the hedges, Tennessee took a breather as one of the best teams in the country. But even the perfect record wasn't enough to get to their heads. We're not going to get a big head anyway. You know, uh, Coach always says you got to take it one game at a time. You got to win five before you can win six. Uh, that's what we're looking at throughout this year. It's like a step. You know, uh, we're trying to go undefeated. That's one thing that we're looking forward to. And uh, we're going to try and beat everybody that steps in our way. The Vols were on the fast track to a national title and doing it the year after Peyton Manning left and the year of a devastating injury to leading rusher Jamal Lewis. We knew Travis Stevens and Travis Henry were really good running backs. And, and at the end of the day, we knew up front we could move the line of scrimmage and, and handle things and still take pressure off those cats. With low expectations, Big Orange Country was not expecting this. A divine intervention, luck, whatever you want to call it, we're, uh, we were playing like a special a bunch of guys. The Vols would get two weeks to prepare for the third Saturday in October, a rivalry with Alabama that's proven anything can happen. I've talked to our team about the, the history of the rivalry and how streaky it's been and how 90 and 92 we were the favored team to win and, and didn't at home. Today, beating Alabama seems nearly impossible. The Crimson Tide have won 11 straight against the Vols. Tennessee suffered a similar streak in the late 80s and early 90s. The Vols hadn't beaten its rival in nine tries. That was until 95, when that 98 senior class helped snap the streak and start a new one. Three straight wins with the hope of running the table in 98. Hopefully that we can get that 4-0, keep it going, keep the streak alive. Hopefully it carries out throughout the years. Only three times before had Tennessee won four straight over Bama, once each in the 50s, 60s, and 80s. 4-0 would be history that only a small amount of all players had ever experienced. I think after you get about five or six games under your belt, you know, you start to get a mental edge on another team and they start thinking that they can't beat you. A lot of people think Florida's our biggest rival, but Alabama is our biggest rival. I mean, this has always been a big game. You know, it's always going to be a big game. I mean, I'm hoping that I can be, you know, I can still, after this game, I can still be one of those seniors to say that, uh, you know, I had, I didn't lose to Alabama. We want to do it, and we can be the first team class to say we beat Alabama four times in a row, so hopefully we can pull it off this weekend.